The grave held her not, my lost Lorraine. From the fire bright I heard her name. Weep softly for loss, a lowly voice spoke. Hence thereafter upon my chair I awoke. O doth woe hide the peace that sleep is to make? Why stir me from slumber? Why force me to wake? The wind answered solely, mocking my pain. The grave held her not, your lost Lorraine. With a shudder I leapt upon my feet I did stand. Who answereth me, I called. Art thou spirit or man? Silence prevailed. No sound did e'er stir. Was it a demon? A specter? Might this be her? No, I mused. Twas only a sound. My torturous brow eased, yet my visage still frowned. A gremlin perchance has made hearth in my home. It goads me, it taunts me, and my house doth it roam. What care have I if the creature be sets? Allow it to jibe, let it play its jests. For I am a man unknown to fear. Oh, come to me, I cried, come ever so near. It spoke as before, the clever bane. The grave held her not, your lost Lorraine. A rapturous scream echoed in my ears. Beyond the window a woman appears, pointing to me as the wind whipped her hair and then... gone. I know not where. With fear pounding soundly within my frame, I sought to flee from the spectral dame. A breeze touched my back as I raced for the door. Why? it whispered, and nothing more. I turned on my heels to face the room, but instead of my chamber I sensed my doom. Darkness engulfed what light I had shed, the lantern, the candle, both of them dead. Let me alone, I bellowed aloud. I've done thee no ill, I firmly vowed. Again the voice spoke amidst the outside rain. The grave held her not, your lost Lorraine. She is gone, I screamed, forevermore. The banister broke, she fell to the floor. The lie slid gently past my lips, unsure if the specter would be convinced. Her death untimely taken too soon on the night of a dire and dismal moon. I waited to hear the wind's reply, but instead of words, I heard only a sigh. All was quiet. The rain did cease, a natural calmness, a deadening peace. I dashed to the window to give it a jolt, yet the fast-holding lock refused to unbolt. O oh, wretched house, O oh, cursed night, I must escape, I must take flight. But the voice screeched out, no longer saying, The grave held her not, your lost Lorraine. No more, no more, I beseech unto thee. I have suffered enough, give rest unto me. I crumbled within, and to the floor I fell. Then began the twelve strokes of the clock's lonely bell. Forgive me, Lorraine, for the death by my hand. I pledge my word it was not planned. Dread filled my breasts as I uttered the lie, for she knew the truth as well as I. The manifestation of the deceit was unfurled as the storm without shook the world. The earth beneath and the walls did quake as to follow behind the devil's wake. The window shattered from the force of a tree, a death grip wind encircled me. With eyes closed tight I screamed aloud like the roar overhead of the thunder cloud as streaks tore through my dying domain. The grave held her not, your lost Lorraine. No longer able to remain so low, I crawled to my feet to face my foe. Have mercy, I plead, O gentle wife, 
Hold fast thy hand and spare my life. I repent of my evil deathly deed, and to the floor I fell weak need. I bowed my head, tears on my face. I knew that I could never erase the murderous blood from my hand. I've shackled myself, I now understand. With quiet ease, the voice enchained. The grave held her not, your lost Lorraine. Lorraine, I whispered, I know what to do. I'll do that which will give rest unto you. The house, the money, all of it's gone. I'll be nothing more than a vagabond. I waited to hear what the wind might say, but nothing came, neither yea nor nay. Unsure, I arose to stand once more. No movement, no sound just as before. Has it passed, I thought, with hope in my sight? No more trouble, no more plight? Indeed, the vile creature had fled from my lair, having taken my offer of leaving me bare. I turned and ran as a man gone mad, reaching for the door, I laughed like a lad. But something caught hold of my springing feet as I tumbled headlong in clumsy defeat. My body fell hard, sharp pains in my side. Looking down, I stared wide-eyed. The glass from the window burrowed deep within. Blood poured out past the flayed, torn skin. I felt the essence of life slip away. I heard in the distance death's lonely bay. On the morrow his body was cold as it lay, already engulfed by putrid decay. But written throughout the still blood stain, the grave held her not, my lost Lorraine.